Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everything else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da da oh oh La da 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 oh oh La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles on the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you It is around 6 a.m. I went to bed at 9. I slept so well for the first time like in a week. I feel like a different person. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I just feel like a different person. I feel rested. I just, oh, I'm so excited to get the day started and get a lot done. But, um, yeah, yesterday I think, like, the lesson to be learned is just to do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. Because today I feel like I will be great for other people. Um, I feel so good. I made an English muffin. I also made myself a mimosa and I'm gonna make myself another. I just love how the house looks right now. I wish we kept Christmas decorations all year round. All right, I'm going to just eat this. I'm gonna fix myself another mimosa and I'm gonna enjoy a nice relaxing start to my Saturday. I mean, <laughs> look at the difference in just like looking rested compared to last night's vlog. I just, oh, nine hours of sleep. I don't think I've gotten anything over three hours in probably seven to eight days. Pardon all the noise, it's very icy. We got an additional amount of snow yesterday through the day. Um, decently significant, so it's a little crunchy outside. All right, so it is Vlogmas day seven. I cannot believe it is day seven already. and. We're gonna head off to the gym and get a workout in. I haven't had the best workout week, but here's the deal. In the past, I used to beat myself up about it, but because I knew that my workout week wasn't going to be the best, I made sure that my eating was on point. I just kind of balanced those two things out as much as possible. Today, I'm just going to do one of my interval runs, and the way I do that is I will do one set first, and that will be um, a two-minute, like, uh, like warm-up pace, which for me is about like a 7.0 on the treadmill. Then the second interval will be three minutes at what I call like my like sprint pace or my fast pace and that will be like an 8.5 8.7 and I'll do that for three minutes so it's two minutes at short pace three minutes 
that fast pace and I will do that four times. Then I'll go into another block where I reverse it and I will do three minutes of the slow pace and then two minutes of the fast pace and I will do that three times. And then the last little like block on the treadmill will be a sprint at like a 10.3 and then I'll walk for a minute. Then I'm gonna do a little arms and shoulders, a little abs, and then I'm gonna be done. Today on the advent of kindness is to donate books and clothes um, to a local organization or church. I am holding off on going through books because Steven and I have so many combined books and I thought we would hit the office this week and kind of pull the books that we know we don't want to keep anymore. We have so many books, it's insane. You guys know that Steven's also a big reader so you can only imagine how many books like we have accumulated in our house. So I definitely want to go through those. As far as clothes, I already have four bags of clothes in the back of my car. Um, oftentimes I donate to Goodwill, but I also just learned about a church that is doing some donations for the holidays. So I'm gonna actually change it up and take it to them and donate those clothes to them. I also have two or three winter jackets that I'm going to take to a local grocery store that is collecting winter jackets for the homeless and I'm gonna drop those off. So. That is how I am doing day seven act of kindness, and I hope that you are as well. As far as today, it's Saturday, so that means it is scrumptious Saturday, and that is where I will share some sort of recipe. Sometimes it's going to be savory, sometimes it's going to be a sweet treat that you can use for the holiday season, add it into your Christmas baking, use it as an appetizer for a holiday party, anything like that. So today, what we are making for Scrumptious Saturday is I'm going to share my recipe for cracker candy. It's super simple. I'm gonna leave all the ingredients listed down below. I will leave the directions listed down below. I'm also gonna vlog them step by step, but it requires a lot of saltine crackers, hence the name cracker candy. So we are going to make that today. It's one of Steven's favorites, so when he comes home, I know that he'll really, really enjoy it. But that is our scrumptious Saturday. What else are we getting into? I don't know. It is still very early in the morning. There's lots of things to do. And we will make time to do all of them. It is snowing so lightly right now that it looks like a snow globe. So I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna let you kind of see it if it will capture how cute this looks. And I will see you after the gym. just leaving the gym and I was just stopped at a red light. And one thing that I've been doing, and it's been a lot of fun, is when I'm stuck at a red light, I rattle off as many things as I'm grateful for um, and just meditate on it a little bit. And it's a really great opportunity of like a forced paused moment uh, where you could practice gratitude. So that's what I was doing. And I had a really great workout today. And one of the things I was really grateful for is that my two legs carried me through. I was like, it was easy. I want to take a second to tell you, update you guys about something that's going to be happening on Monday. So due to some circumstances, I am not able to vlog at all on Monday. I just can't. So I am going to be filming today a gift guide and that is going to replace Vlogmas Day 8. And it's also something that all of you have been requesting anyway. So to me, it makes perfect sense as well to embed it into Vlogmas. Early in Vlogmas as well is really handy because it gives you time to shop. So I just wanted to be straightforward with you. I can't vlog on Monday and a pre-recorded video will come up, but it's going to be a 2019 holiday gift guide with gifts for all types of people, all different price points. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. It's something that 
I know so many of you have requested and yeah, I thought this was a way to still get a video up every day of Vlogmas as well as allow me to take care of the things I need to take care of. With that being said, we're gonna cut back to our regularly scheduled Vlogmas day and think about what we're going to do when we get home. We're going to get home, get cleaned up, and I don't know, it feels so weird. We're now on several days without Steven or Bubba's, so it just feels weird. And the house feels so big and lonely and quiet. So I should probably savor those moments um, of having some quiet and time to reflect and relax. But let's get home. I'm gonna jam out to Celine Dion and we'll see where the day takes us. Courage, don't you dare fail me now I need you to keep away the doubts I'm staring in the face of something new you're all I got to hold on to so courage don't you dare fail me now I just went to the P.O. box and picked up a bunch of cards, which I'm super excited about because I have a really cool card display this year that I am excited to do. And then I was expecting some packages there. However, they have not arrived yet. So now I am just out and about and going to go check out a couple things. There is this really, really cute home store that I wanna go check out. It's locally owned. Um, it's a little like boutique store right up my alley. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. Went to two cute little stores today, and now I'm running to Target because I do need to pick up a couple things um, for next week's trip. But last month, when I paid off my credit card, I realized that I had like all these points saved up and I realized I could cash them in for a gift card. So I got a $25 Target gift card and I am going to just give it to someone randomly because it was a gift card I didn't expect to have. And on my way in, I'm just gonna hand it to someone. The person I gave the gift card to <laughs> didn't wanna take it at first. I think they thought I was like trying to do something shady, but then I eventually convinced her, I was like, no, I'm just doing this just to be kind and like, <laughs> just take it and she was like then abundantly thankful and everything however it was just the reaction to it was funny what I picked up at Target just now was a jacket and gloves for uh, our trip next weekend because I am going to try skiing 
with Steven. I also ordered a pair of ski pants online. They should be getting here soon. And now I'm gonna run to the North Face store because I want like a really good, warm, like hat, knit hat to wear because I'm thinking the high, the days that we would probably ski is 27 degrees. And I'm also thinking it's gonna be windy and cold on a mountain. So it'll probably be even a couple degrees lower or at least feel it. So I need to get a nice, nice warm hat. Just leaving the North Face store, I ended up picking up this really cute hat. And I was really just going in for a hat for the trip next weekend, especially if we're gonna be skiing. I wanted like something like high quality. And I ended up finding a coat and gloves in North Face that were just way cuter than what I picked up at Target just now. And I think the most shocking part is that the coat that I bought at North Face is better quality than the one I bought at Target clearly but it was only a difference of like $45, $50 because the <laughs> Target coat, I was actually surprised how expensive it was when I picked it up. So I would rather get something that I'll wear more because this Target coat I'll wear one time and never wear it again really. I'm now going back to Target to return this because I'd rather do it while I'm out than go home and realize I have to do it again later. It is four and I just woke up. I ran those errands, dropped off my um, donations, went to the P.O. box, came home, and then I completely laid down on the couch with my weighted blanket that I got, which I love, and just fell asleep. So at this store called Breathe at Home, there's really nothing that I desperately needed. But they did have these really cool, local, um, this one's called Toast, and it's a sparkling white tea, cranberry and ginger, non-alcoholic drink. I love a good Moscow Mule. So they had this organic ginger beer um, that I picked up. I thought the price on these was really good. At the other store, I actually found some things that I thought were really, really cute. First thing I found was this really, really cute little take on a snow globe. It's just so adorable. They are little tiny reindeer, and this one has like the word wish on it. Well, they all have the word wish on it, but I just thought they were so cute, and I want to add those to the tree. Day seven. Day seven is a rosé. This is a French rosé, bright and lively, with notes of strawberry, watermelon, and citrus. Over a bit to hold those all up. Day seven is a Fuji green tea body butter. So, our fun female fact is scientist Rosalind Franklin was crucial in the discovery of the true structure of DNA and has posthumously received a huge amount of recognition for her contribution. I cannot find day seven to save my life. Oh, there it is. That is tricky. Oh no, I just dropped day seven somewhere down in here. We're gonna have to wait to get day seven back out because I'm not gonna open another door to go find it. And the stationary advent calendar saga continues. Pour some sugar on me. These are the baby blue wells. Whale watching gets sweet with these Itty bitty raspberry flavored baby whales. It's nice and really, really heavy. Yes, I like this a lot. Love it. Day seven pin is, I feel like we haven't got a Christmas one in a while. Aw. 
It's a tiny little unicorn. Now for my favorite advent of the season. This one is truly, truly my favorite. Day seven is a little dove. I think I'm gonna put the dove up on the roof. Does that make sense? Day seven, diptyque is a candle. It's very citrusy. Or either I'm stuffed up, but I smell like lemon. This almost reminds me of like a Meyer lemon. Everveen. I say them all wrong. It's okay. I know how to say the ones that I really, really like. Not that I don't like this one. I feel like this is a really good kitchen scent. Day seven. Hand cream again. Lots of hand creams, which I feel are the most, most useful. And theirs are such high quality. Luxatan does such a great job. It is now time to get Scrumptious Saturday rocking and rolling. I have a cookie sheet and I have lined it with tin foil and I've also sprayed non-stick spray on that cooking oil. And now your job is to, like a puzzle, lay in all your saltine crackers. And you literally just wanna go in and lay them as close together and get a th one singular layer of saltines all over this tray. Now, in a heavy pan, I'm melting a cup and a half of butter. And I do have a cup and a half of packed brown sugar to add to this. So now I've added the cup and a half of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna keep stirring this till all of the sugar dissolves. It usually takes around three to four minutes. You can see that it's starting to boil and kind of come together as more of like a toffee texture. That's exactly what you want. I'm just gonna keep this going till the timer goes off and it should be perfect. You'll just see it get thicker and thicker and thicker. Now, what we're going to do, and this is sometimes quite tedious, is we are going to do our best, and please be careful because this is hot, is to spread this mixture evenly as you can across all the crackers. I'm gonna pop this in an oven for 350 for eight to 10 minutes. While that's baking, I'm going to take a bunch of walnuts, and I am just going to roughly chop them. I also have a bag of chocolate chips. I always buy Ghirardelli, I don't buy any other brand, um, but you could use any. I use milk chocolate chips. You could do this with white chocolate, butterscotch, any, any chip, but I like the milk chocolate. And that comes out of the oven. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to spread and sprinkle the chocolate chips across it. They're going to melt. We will smear those evenly and then top it with walnuts. Look how like bubbly and amazing this got. I'm now just smearing those chocolate chips evenly, getting them to like every square. Some of your squares will remove, that's totally fine because what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this in the fridge, I have my outside fridge, um, anywhere from overnight for a couple hours, just to kind of chill it the whole way through, and then we'll break it apart. Now I'm just sprinkling the nuts on top of the chocolate and the toffee. I will say after I do this, I do like to take the back of my spoon that I smeared everything with and just kind of pat on the walnuts or whatever nut you choose to use just pr press on them so that they get kind of embedded in the toffee and the chocolate and kind of stick. All right, I'm gonna go and throw this in my garage fridge for a couple hours. Like I said, let this chill till it's completely set and solid and then you'll just peel it off the tin foil and break it up into like bark pieces. Happy scrumptious Saturday. This is truly one of my faves. All right, my friends, I'm going to consider Scrumptious Saturday a wrap. 
and I'm gonna enjoy this rosé. I'm gonna start editing and get that video to you. And I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.